Happening right now, safe spaces vandalized at Georgia Tech. Members of a Jewish fraternity say someone used shaving cream to write Free Palestine on their house. Atlanta News First, Brittany Ford, live tonight on the campus of Georgia Tech. And so, Brittany, this was not considered a hate crime, but it still shook some people up. Well, Alan, yeah, I can tell you a lot of students are unsettled by what happened here. And while this isn't considered a hate crime, as you mentioned, one state lawmaker is working to change that. The words Free Palestine written beneath an Israeli banner. This is what members of the Alpha Epsilon Pi, a Jewish fraternity on the Georgia Tech campus, woke up to Sunday. I mean, obviously, it's not something that we want to happen because, like, you know, we don't endorse hate speech around the campus. It's just that it's kind of um, disturbing to see things like that happening around campus. But as a whole, I know that Georgia Tech doesn't, like, approve of those things. The university sent this statement saying the safety and security of our campus is of utmost importance. Georgia Tech police are investigating an incident of vandalism over the weekend where someone used shaving cream to write a pro-Palestinian message on the wall of a Jewish fraternity. This is why I fought so hard to define anti-Semitism last time. If I get attacked now because of what's going on over there, <clears throat> it may not be, it's not a crime. I mean, it's not a hate crime. State Rep Esther Panage is working to make acts like these a crime. Panage, Georgia's only Jewish legislator, weighing in on Twitter, highlighting House Bill 30. That would help prosecutors and other officials identify hate crimes and illegal discrimination targeting Jewish people. We will be reintroducing the bill. Unfortunately, these are just more examples of why we need it. The ongoing investigation has students on the Georgia Tech campus working to regain a sense of community. I think the whole campus as a whole wants to get rid of that type of hate and spread unity throughout the campus. Now, I did speak with students who are part of this fraternity throughout the day here today. They declined to go on camera. We're live at the Georgia Tech campus. Brittany Ford, Atlanta News First.